So you like the look of the Black Pro Mist filter or even the Cinebloom filter, but you don't have one. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods you can use to create that Cinebloom effect right inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into Resolve and get started. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I have a couple of clips already on my timeline. First things first, let's start off on the clean slate. So let's head over to the uh, menus tab and go over to workspaces and reset UI layout. So we all looking at the same sort of interface. All right, with that done, the next thing is I'm gonna select this first clip, move my playhead over to it, and let's head over to the color page. So now that we're in the color page, I want to add a serial node. Um, and on top of this second serial node, I want to add um, a layer node right with a layer mixer so we're going to go option or command l on the keyboard um, the other option is that you can also right click and select add node and select layer node and we'll do the same thing as we have here so what we have now is these two layers and i'm going to select the bottom layer i'm going to go into the effects panel and i'm going to drag a gaussian blur onto this bottom layer node right here I'm going to drag the horizontal and vertical strength all the way up to 100. You can also play around with the border type if you need to. You can either choose black to get a little bit of a vignette around the image, uh, but I don't like that. So I usually will use either replicate or reflect um, and that works fine. So with that, I'm going to select this layer here once more. I'm going to head over into my primary rails tab. And I'm going to bring the saturation on that node all the way down to zero, making it a black and white node and taking out all the color from that node. So right click on this layer mixer right here and then go down to composite mode and switch it over to screen. And now you can see that we have that effect. You know, if I turn off this layer, you can see the before and the after. So for me, this effect is a little bit intense and I want to control the intensity of the effect. So select the node, head down into the curves panel. And if you bring down the highlight points here, you can see how the curve is affecting the intensity of the effect. So you can use the curve to control not only the intensity, but you can also use it to control on which parts of the image it affects the most. So if I can come down here and put a point right here and drag this point down, you can see um, what it's doing to the effect, right? And what I'm doing is only on this layer and it's only affecting the effect. So you can go ahead and fine tune where in the image you want this effect to be prominent, right? And so with that, this is our before and this is our after. So now if we play back, you can see the blooming effect that we have created now. And this is a little bit of the before and after of what we have just done. So this second image is just a simple image. There's no well-defined, you know, uh, lights in the background but I just want to add a little bit of pop, a little bit of that dream effect to this image. And so to do this, we're going to use the second method. The second method, we have to do it in fusion, but don't worry, it's not complicated. It's not scary. It's going to be just a few steps in fusion and you can do it. So let's go over to fusion. And what I want to do is I want to take the media in node and I want to make a copy of that. So command C, and I'm going to paste that copy command V. I'm going to bring it on top here. I'm going to take that node and connect it to the media one to create a merge. So what's happening is that this is the original media in coming in and this one is going to be on top of that. So what we want to do is we want to add a couple of effects in between the media in one underscore one and the merge. Let's add an Gaussian blur effect to this. If you hold on shift and click on the space bar, you're gonna get this tool here and just start searching for blur, right? And I'm going to select the Gaussian blur and click on add. The next thing I want to do is add on a Luma key. So I'm gonna do the same thing, shift space and type key and select the Luma key and add that as well. Go to the Gaussian blur and take the blur strength up, 
you know, somewhere around here for now. We can always come back and adjust this. And then go over to the Kia. And in the Kia section, you just want to take away some of that blur from the skin, right? Because we can see that the blur is affecting everywhere on the skin. So I'm going to bring it in. As I bring this in, the low point in, I can take away some of the blur from the skin. So somewhere about there, it's fine. And if you feel the effect or is too intense, what you can do is go back to your Gaussian blur node and bring down the strength of the blur. So there we go. These are two ways in which you can add the dreamy black pro mist or cine broom effect to your clips within DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Keep creating and I will see you in the next video.